Om Shanti and welcome back. We are here with 10th of March Goli Blessing. So Pre Father wants us to be free from all the bondages and it is the bondages which are going to give us a lot of trouble. That means unhappiness, whether it's mental, emotional, spiritual, physical. So why shouldn't we be the children of God who are free from this kind of bondage? And what is the method of that? And when we are at the end of the cycle, that means at the end of the Kali Yuga, once we have taken all the 84 births and we have come to the end of this birth, we feel as if we are bondaged by so many different karmic counts, whether it's financial, whether it's mental, emotional, physical, relationships, everywhere there's some form of turmoil. So that's why God says that may you be free from bondage and celebrate the ceremony of completion. Completion of what? Completion means that now I am free from all my past karmic bondages which by not knowing the wisdom I ended up doing those bad karmas so it became a bondage for me. By finishing all your old karmic accounts because all souls in this foreign land, we are not from this world actually, we souls don't belong to this world, we belong to the Param Dham or the Supreme Abode or Brahmaloka where we have come from and we have descended on this earth for a short period of time. And we came down onto this earth just to play this part in this drama, but we got into a bondage. When did we get into a bondage? When we stopped using love, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and we started using jealousy and hatred and comparison and competition and anger and greed. That's where we ended up doing bad karmas and the bondage of us souls with other souls became more and more stronger. And that bondage was a bad feeling bondage not something which is a good feeling bondage. So God says now move from that bondage to godly bondage, which is a sweeter bondage. The father comes and reminds you of your original form and original land. We are a soul, a spark, a point of light, just like a creator who also looks like this, but not in a photo frame, but in the subtle world. He frees you from bondage, makes you into self sovereigns. He gives us the knowledge that you are a soul. You're not a father or a mother or a brother or a sister. That is just a role. So remember yourself as a soul and don't get entangled into a role and become egoistic or jealous or feel that as if you are higher than somebody. Remember the Holy's message of God that we all become equal when we're putting color onto each other. There's no difference, right? There's no boss and there's no subordinate. We are like, okay, I also put onto you. You also. Put so similarly, that is a soul conscious feeling. He frees you from bondage, makes you into self sovereign. So that means we become self sovereign, kings of our own mind, intellect, and habits. Instead of others controlling our thoughts and words and actions, we become our own controller of our thoughts, words, and actions, and takes you to your original land. Actually, there's no physical land over there. The original land means a place where we souls used to reside. And it is not a physical world. It is a non-physical world of light. So in order to go to your original land, celebrate the ceremony of finishing all your old karmic accounts. Only then can we go back. If we don't finish our karmic accounts, if we still keep on getting entangled into ego and jealousy and greed and we start using those negative behaviors, then we have to take rebirth to take care of it again. That means to undo what we have done. If you celebrate this ceremony now, you will then be able to celebrate the completion ceremony at the end. Only those who have been free from bondage over a long time, that means people who have not been using those souls, who will not be using greed or jealousy or ego or anger for a very long time, are able to attain status of liberation in life for a long time. That means they are able to go into the gates of heaven on this very earth. We go up and then again we come down. So we come down earlier or we come down later depends upon how much of karmic bondages we have got rid of. And God is here to help us to get rid of those karmic bondages. That means be in godly remembrance. Think of yourself as godly child and then act uh, or enact on this world stage. How about that? So more on this is what is learned in Brahma Kumaris in details and with more of different angles of understanding. So for that, your movement is necessary towards a Brahma Kumari center where you can learn this beautiful knowledge. Om Shanti with this.